Alright, this is a basic flash tutorial showing how to, uh, the, well, the beginnings of animation, the beginnings of learning animation. In this tutorial, all I'm going to show you what to do is how to create a green box and move it across the screen. That's it, nothing more. Alright, let's go. To start, we need to open a new uh, flash document. So, file, new, flash document, okay no big deal. You'll tend to find that opens up as default when you start Flash. Anyway, to start with we need to create a green box. That's not too hard to do. Now you'll find here is your box tool. It's called a rectangle tool. You can make any kind of squarey sort of rectangle square whatever. Select that. Now you'll notice down in the colors area you've got two options here. This one here is your stroke color. That refers to your border or outline. So if we had that at black and the fill color or the inside at blue, we'd create a black bordered blue box. Yeah, but that's not what we want to do. So Control Z, I'll get rid of that. I said I was going to make a green box, so I will. So let's kill the stroke color because and that'll kill it. A button there, <coughs> and we'll make it green because that's what I'm going to do. We've got the uh, s the rectangle tool selected, so now let's make our little green box. Done. Now we need to animate it. Okay, well that's just static on the page. That's your layer, as you are probably familiar with Photoshop and Illustrator, you've got layers. This here is your timeline, this is your duration that things move for. Let's say for argument's sake we want to move it 30 frames. 30 frames is fuck all. You could move it 500,000 frames. 30s, fuck all. You'll get the point later in my later tutorials. But let's just make, right click on that frame and insert blank keyframe. Not keyframe, but blank one. Okay, so we've inserted a blank one now. You'll notice there's nothing on the stage at all. If you go back to any other frame, we see that green box, but not on the frame we made. That's what we want to see. Go back to your first uh, frame, right? Hit your selection tool. Just to make sure, you see that's a green box when it's not selected. When it's selected, you see there's little white dots on it. You may not, depends on the resolution, right? But anyway, selection, once you're in the first frame, selection, make sure you got it selected. Then right click copy or control C. I prefer control C, but whatever tickles you. Go to your 30th frame and right click paste or control V or Control shift v will actually paste it exactly where you copied it from. But anyway, let's just paste it anywhere. That'll do. Right. So there it lies. Now, if you look at any other frame before that, it's on the same position, and only on the 30th frame is it moved. To actually animate it so it slides across the screen, you need to do one thing only, and that is go to your timeline up here, right-click anywhere in your timeline except for the 30th frame, right click create motion twain now all of a sudden you have yourself a moving box it's that simple until my later tutorials i say goodbye